Hi guys, welcome back to Just Play Golf. Sorry, it's been a little bit of time since the last post we've done on the YouTube channel. Um, I know I've been sort of busy on social media to posting about my junior academy and also back at the Ronda Golf Club. Um, and today we are at the Ronda Golf Club, which is fantastic. We've got some awesome facilities. As you can see behind me, we have the short game course, which is a Ryder Cup legacy fund. If you want to come up and give it a go and start your golfing journey here, it's a fantastic facility to do so. If you're more sort of inclined to use your boots, there's, there's a foot golf course here as well. Um, but more importantly, they've got a fantastic 18 hole championship course with fantastic views. So if you want to come along, let us know. I'll put the details in, uh, in the link below and we'd, we'd love to have you up here. Right guys, we're talking about chipping today. Um, we're up at the fabulous Ron the Golf Club. We've got a really nice chipping area. As you'll see behind me, we've got a, a nine hole pitching putt as well. Um, but today we're, we are going to be looking really, really specifically at chipping. I've got seven iron right now. Um, and the reason for that is I don't want to see the ball going too high in the air. Now, the, you know, there's lots of articles that say chip with the seven iron. Um, you know those people that are really really bad at chipping and buy a chipping wedge or something you know that's awkward but that's the loft the seven iron is the loft that they use for that we're going to hold it like a putter so instead of having your normal grip that you use with your normal stance just hold it like a putter as as you would a putter so the basics are going to be we're going to have a narrow stance and be leaning more towards my front foot and i'm just going to be going like a putt now because i got the weight my weight favoring the left side towards the target, 60% maybe, 55, 60% more towards there. I'm just gonna bruise the ground. Nothing special, I'm just gonna bruise the ground. That way, I'm still hitting it like a putt, I'm using the putter action, and I'm gonna land it and let it roll out as best I can. Come on, go in. Nah, a little bit right. But what it allows me to do is have a go at holding the chip shot. What I find a lot of people doing is get it somewhere in the bucket. Don't try and get it in the bucket because then the bucket becomes three foot, which becomes four foot, which ultimately becomes six foot. Then you get chipping yips. It causes absolute carnage and it's not very pretty for the playing partners watching you do it. So I'm going to run through my little basics again. We're going to have a narrow stance. The ball's going to be in the middle. I'm dead square. My shoulders are square. My hips are square. I'm not really doing anything else. My hands are forward and I'm just bruising the ground. Nothing particularly special. After that, I'm using it and it's acting like a putter. And it's just rolling out towards the target. Really simple. And that's with a seven iron. three iron here now because the club's longer I am gonna have an open stance and that's literally just to stop the club digging into my side or whatever else so a little bit open just allows me to turn through and, and rock my shoulders through this is because of the length of the shot going to be a putt for all intents and purposes the ball's going to be towards the back of my stance for me personally you might want to see it pop up a little bit depending on if you've got a little bit of bump to get over or whatever the ball's going to be in the back of my stance. After that, I'm just going to try and use the putting action I was using before. And as you'll see from down this line, down straight down the line, it's running pretty much straight away. It's not popping up in the air. It really is rolling as quickly as I've hit it. It's popped up a little bit and it's rolling the rest of the way. That way then, if there's a bit of break, it's going to take the break. Now, Aim small, miss small. Like, that is a really big theme with chipping. I've missed a couple of my chips, you know, I think one's about two and a half foot, maybe three foot short. The rest of them are all sort of gimme range, a foot and a half, 18 inches, something like that. Same thing, if I'm trying to hold the putt as I hit the cone, that'll look good on that camera, um, I'm not gonna miss by much. It means I've got a very realistic chance of getting up and down. Now look, those are not great chips, but I'm gonna be that's going to be the worst outcome I can have because I'm aiming small. Now if I'm a bit more relaxed and I'm feeling 
better, I've done my full routine, maybe I've thought, my, my, my thought process is a bit better, I've read the green better, I've got the pace. I'm going to get a better outcome. Really simple. Aim small, miss small. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to tell your playing partners, oh, I'm gonna hold this one, even though that's great for banter. But it is really, really, really about aiming to try and get the ball in the hole. That's the objective of golf, and it's not lucky if it goes in. That's exactly what you're aiming to do. Gary Player, the more I practice, the luckier I get. And this is something that can be done in block practice. That literally just means you can hit the same shot repeatedly. You can change the clubs. That can be the open part of your practice where you allow some elements to come in. Maybe use a pitching wedge, maybe use a six iron whatever you'd want to take your fancy maybe use a log wedge maybe it's close enough for it to act like a log wedge and it's and away it goes but remember there's a clear difference between a chip and a pitch and that is dead simple i'm going to clarify it now for you which is the chip is going to be 30 percent in the air 70 percent along the floor or greater value to the running along the floor and a pitch is something that is 70 percent in the air and 30 percent along the floor now, for me, a chip is always the least risky, but there are obviously times when we use pitch shots and we have to practice them, and especially if we're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 yards out, we're not gonna be able bumping them along the floor. Although there's a couple of members that I do see bumping them along the floor with a putter from 80 yards. I'm hoping this will give you some, some added value. There's some really simple key points in there that I genuinely believe will help you. For me, if I was gonna play this shot, I'm going to be using my 7-iron. I just feel more comfortable with my 7-iron. And I'd like to think within a few, I should have a chance at having a look at a hole in them. 7-iron is my preferred. It lands a little bit further up the cone line. So you can see that on the camera down there. It's just something that I prefer. But what I want you to do is find out what you prefer. It's personal, it's bespoke, it's your game. Take ownership of it, take ownership of it, and go and just play some golf.